For $10,000, I purchased the piece known as Fresh Air. So here's the piece's description along with the guarantees of what I was supposed to get. This is a unique piece, only this one is for sale. The air you are purchasing is like buying an endless tank of oxygen. No matter where you are, you always have the ability to take a breath of the most delicious, clean-smelling air that the earth can produce. Every breath you take gives you endless peace and health. This artwork is something to carry with you if you own it. Because wherever you are, you can imagine yourself getting the most beautiful taste of air that is from the mountaintops or fields or from the ocean side. It is an endless supply. Naming rights. You get an entire wing of the museum named in your honor for this purchase. The owner of the artwork will receive a title card with a description of the piece to be mounted on your wall and used when explaining the work. You will also get a letter of authentication and a PDF copy of the catalog. I was also entitled to attend an after party in New York City that was supposedly going to take place November of 2011, which of course never happened. Here's also another description that I pulled from the Kickstarter page of the project, which blatantly says that you will receive a title card with a description of a piece of art, as well as a letter of authentication. You may mount this card on a blank wall in your home or in your gallery. You may also choose to sell the non-visible artwork to another collector, to exhibit it elsewhere, or to lend it back to Praxis when we take the non-visible museum on tour. So what happened is that I contacted my bank at the beginning of November when I wasn't sent anything and I said, hey, I sponsored this Kickstarter project and none of what was promised to me has occurred. I'm not saying that these people don't intend to fulfill their promises to me, but they haven't sent me the letter of authentication and they haven't sent me the title card. They haven't invited me to a party in New York City and they have not sent me a PDF copy of the catalog. So what am I supposed to do? And my bank being very responsible said, well, listen, keep us posted. And if they send it to you, notify us and we will stop the dispute. Because I'm just, I, even though People say, oh, well, you're just supporting artists and Kickstarter is about funding their projects. Yes, it is, but it's also about them delivering on their promises. And point blank, Kickstarter says, though Kickstarter cannot be held liable for the actions of a project creator, project creators are nevertheless wholly responsible for fulfilling obligations both implied and stated in any project listing they create. We are now January the 2nd, 2012, and I haven't been delivered a single thing. I knew going into this that I was sponsoring a controversial project and that's why I sponsored it. But it blows my mind that professional artists would be so irresponsible as to not fulfill their contractual obligations on time. I wanted that card. I wanted to display that card when I had my rap party for 100 jobs and I couldn't. I even requested via an email that Praxis sent it to me and they said they would try and they never did. How long does it take to come up with an attractive design and have it printed on a title card? It cannot take six months. And that is why my money has been refunded to me and I say goodbye Museum of Non-Visible Art. And I leave you with a part of their manifesto which is either incredibly ironic or this project wrapped up exactly as they had intended. Art is without value until it faces the market. The market purveys value. Money is banal until it has been spent. Money spent on art is money transformed. Money spent is mourned. This mourning is erased by art. We strive to enhance mourning. Mourning is a response to what is not there an afterglow.